Hey, what's up guys? This is Chris and I'm back with more Everyday RC. And a little update on the bash event for everybody. It's early in the morning, Saturday. Got a busy day ahead of me. Getting an early start on the day because I got a lot of preparation for tomorrow, which is the big bash event 2016. So I figured I'd get out early get myself some racing fuel for my low C5T in case we're running some fifth scales over there t tomorrow and uh, I just wanted to share with you how I get my fuel and how I get prepared for the day for a big bash event like we're having tomorrow uh, I got a busy day ahead of me today I got soccer all day uh, from 9 15 to I believe 2 o'clock in the afternoon so I'm not gonna have any time later to pick up some fuel so I figured I'd get it done before soccer this morning. And um, yeah, when I get home at two o'clock, that's when all the charging, all the preparation begins for tomorrow. Have all the batteries charged up, everything prepared and ready to go for Sunday morning. I'm planning on getting there at nine o'clock. I'm probably gonna be there a little bit before because we did publicize it for 9 a.m. So I'm gonna get there a little bit beforehand just so I can set up everything. But I just wanted to bring you guys with me. I want to go get some fuel right now. Show you how I mix up my racing fuel. And uh, show you how I get prepared for a big bash event. Alright, so here's the gas station. Luckily, it's right down the block from where I live. It's one of the few gas stations on Long Island that actually sells Cam 2 racing fuel. Which is 100 octane racing fuel ethanol free. So we'll pull up to the pump. As you can see, the price of fuel... It's a little over nine dollars a gallon which is not that bad because i've been here and it's been ten dollars a gallon so not that bad there it is cam two baby okay real quick just want to show you guys the two-stroke oil that i use some may beg to differ but this is real easy for me i sell it in my shop it's real easy for me to get a uh get my hands on it and this is basically made by the Steel Corporation. It's HP Ultra 2. And um, it's basically a fully synthetic two-stroke oil. It has some stabilizers in it. And I see it work every day in air-cooled engines, chainsaws, things of that nature, running 15,000 RPMs air-cooled, and it definitely protects the engine. Uh, the engine that's in my 5T is the Chongyang CY26 that I did do a big bore kit. So for the time being, this is what I've been always using in concession with the Cam 2 fuel. Um, if I ever upgrade to a reed case motor or a high performance motor, I'll be looking at possibly some AMS oil. But for now, in the engine that I use, this is what I use. It's really easy. I mix it 25 to 1. So this, this bottle right here will mix 2 gallons of fuel. So basically, I dump this into one gallon of racing fuel and it mixes 25 to 1 no mixing cups or ratio cups or anything it's real simple dump this in first and then mix it in with the fuel so as you can see I'm letting it sit let it hang out get all that oil out of there and then when I'm ready dump in one gallon of cam 2 racing fuel and that's it done let it swirl around in there. We got exactly a gallon of fuel. Four quarts. Let's stop shaking, you'll see it's at a gallon. But that's it, guys. Racing fuel all ready for my low C5T. What's up, Louie? What up? Getting ready to go to soccer. Yeah. On our way there, it's a big marathon day over here where I live in West Babylon. They shut down all the roads and uh, thousands of people take to the streets and they run a marathon so luckily we got we're getting to the field early enough before they blocked off this road because then it would have been real difficult to get to our field but yep off to soccer big marathon day soccer day here we are After 
game. I'll get it. Work. I'll get the work in session. I will get the second one. Get you guys are doing one. a good job. Got it, good. There's so much people who want to pack the Yeah, we're, we're going to take the next one out. We're, 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 almost, we're almost done with the park. I know, we're going to bring some more out, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Good job. Thank you. How's it going? Hey, you guys cool back. Thank you. A little soccer. That's what we do on the weekends. Line of concessions. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Hey, what's up, Ronald? Two fourteen. Soccer day is over. It was a long day, huh? Mm -hmm. You have a good time. You scored a goal today, huh? Uh huh. It was good. All right, thumbs up. You have a good day. You ran the concession stands and everything. Uh -huh. Good girl. Like so many people wanted hot chocolate and um pretzels. Polly, why do you think? Why do they want the hot stuff? Cause it's gonna be cold out. It is very cold out. <laughs> but for some reason. They didn't get any churros. Yeah. I, I, I just... Pretzels were the hot seller today, huh? Yeah. I just really right. wanted a churro, so I had right. one. Pulling in. It's 2.20 on Saturday. Time to get everything ready for the Big Bash event 2016. Start charging up the batteries, getting all the vehicles ready to go. All right, guys, back home in the hobby room, and it's time to get ready for the Big Bash event 2016. So it's time to get everything ready. Got lots of batteries to charge up, get some vehicles worked on, tidied up. So first things first, let's get our batteries charged up. As you can see, I have my giant MaxAmps. 9,000 milliamp batteries. These are dual 3S that I run in the X-Max over there. Figured I'd start getting these charged up right away. These take a little while to charge, so I get those on charge. The rest of my batteries are over here. On deck, ready to get charged up. This is a regular film case that I purchased at, I believe, Harbor Freight. It's super cheap. It's about 20 bucks. But what you can't see underneath is I do have a lipo sack lining the bottom and when I close it I have another lipo sack that I put over the top so hopefully that Kevlar keeps this a little bit fireproof but this is my box of batteries this is all the juice I'll be bringing tomorrow and had some last minute things to do over here on the 5T I wasn't running a body on my 5T because I have a penta body that I will be spraying up soon but I figured just for the bash event I'd throw on the stock body that I was using for many years, it is pretty well beat up. In fact, um, I can't even use the rear fender flares because the uh, the fenders are completely destroyed. They won't even stay on there. But I, I kind of like that open wheel look in the back. Kind of looks like it got beat up. And those of you that follow the channel, you might have saw on my other friend John's channel. I'll put a link in the description box. I gave him my exhaust pipe. That was the Bartolone big bore xp pipe that i gave him to be ceramic coated unfortunately didn't get it back in time so i did put on the stock muffler not really my muffler of choice here You're rather an exhaust pipe but it's better than nothing and i'll be able to run tomorrow you saw i got the 100 octane fuel my fully synthetic two-stroke oil today so I'll, I'll be all fueled up and ready to go in this thing and i did already charge the battery up so that's pretty good and uh, other than that, it's just really getting all my batteries charged up. I got a lot of camera batteries to charge up. I'm going to get all my camera equipment, my GoPro equipment, and uh, get myself fully prepared. 
Going to be out of the house first thing in the morning tomorrow. I'm hoping we get to run fifth scales. I'm sure we'll be able to get out there and do some running of the fifth scales. But my vehicles that I'm going to probably be running is going to obviously be the X-Max because that's very durable. Won't have too many issues with that. Knock on wood. Doesn't break too much. I will be running the Losi because this is another super durable monster truck. Hopefully won't have any issues with this. I have um, some upgraded shocks on there that my friend Keith had handed over to me. I think these are Integy shocks, but I'm not really exactly sure because I took the shocks off of the XXO2E and I put them down on my Savage. So believe it or not, these are our Losi XXL2E shocks with RC Raven shock springs. And I'll be running the Savage tomorrow. Like first real deal, like in the dirt bash for this since I rebuilt the whole entire thing. So that should be pretty cool. This thing has brand new everything i mean brand new gears diff cups skid plates everything except for the chassis and some other things that i left but this truck was fully rebuilt from the ground up and i really like how it performs it's got ton of power ton of power out of control power and i might be running the uh the yeti xl tomorrow just see how that does i might be bringing some extra tires with me because i these stock tires are horrible. In fact, I noticed that it's kind of coming unglued since the last time that I ran the truck. And I might be running the Talion tomorrow because that's another super durable vehicle. A few of these other vehicles have been sitting on the shelf. Not that I'm opposed to running them, but they do have some irreplaceable parts on them. And, uh, you know, I'm going to have some, sh some uh, cars there and some trucks there to showcase so that the viewers of the channel can see. I'll probably bring everything there just so you guys can take a look at everything that I own. Um, I believe my kids are going to be there and my wife for a little while. So I'm going to be bringing the two slashes. And they run on some monster batteries as well. I got the, the dual. Well, they only take one battery. But look at these, guys. 8,000s. Dual core. These are 2S. But when I put them in those slashes, they, they, they run forever. So... So I'll be charging those up. And if they don't run the whole packs out, I can take those and I can put them in some other vehicles. And like I said, I'll probably be bringing the Slash down because I know a lot of people probably want to take a look at that. I might throw some tires on my Rustlers just so people could take a look at those because I know that a lot of people have seen them on the channel. And my X01, I will not be bringing, but I just bought a new body from this painter that I've been seeing lately. And I'm going to keep that a surprise, but you'll be seeing a new body on my X01 very, very soon. And last but not least, everyone that comes down to the Bash event tomorrow will be getting a t-shirt. I had 50 t-shirts made up, and I know that I've been saying that I'm going to be doing a t-shirt giveaway for the viewers on the channel. So that will be coming up after the Bash event. I probably will have some left over, some sizes. If not, I'm going to be having more made, and I feel bad for the people that aren't going to be able to get one if you if you you know don't win the giveaway so i'm thinking about selling them on ebay guys so let me know if you're interested in that because i might start selling t-shirts stickers and possibly hats on my ebay account so let me know if you're interested in that because i do feel bad that there's only a certain amount of winners when i do giveaways and not everybody gets to get a shirt so the people that will be coming down tomorrow, I'm giving them out for free, guys. So everybody that comes out, come see me. You'll get a shirt. I've tried to get all sizes, so hopefully I got one that fits you. And that's about it, guys. Just going to get everything ready. Got plenty of batteries for my remotes, so I don't have to worry about that. And that's it. I'm going to spend the rest of the afternoon wrenching, getting everything ready to go. So that's about it. So real quick, before I go, I just want to go over everything with you guys for tomorrow's event. It starts at 9 a.m. I'll be getting there a little bit before 9 a.m. just so I can get my booth set up and everything up and running by the time people start showing up. But I just want to say let's have a great, fun time. It's all in the name of fun. Let's keep it a friendly, fun, family atmosphere. I want to have children out there, moms, dads, everybody. So it's going to be a family environment. Bring your kids down. Let them experience the fun of RC. It's not for just our big kids, you know. Let's bring some of the family. My family will be down there for a little while until their attention drifts off. And then my wife will probably be leaving with them. But I'm going to be down there the whole day. 
And I just want to make it aware to everybody, you are not to drive into the dirt area. I've already been warned by the security guard. There is nobody to be driving in the dirt area with their vehicles. There's a parking lot directly across the street from the bash site. You will see us parked in the parking lot, and it's literally 10 feet across the street. You walk right into the dirt dirt area and you'll be able to do all the driving you want. So I just want to stress that that nobody is going to drive their vehicles in the dirt area because that's for sure going to get a shut down. So everybody will be able to meet in the parking lot across the street. We'll all be in there hanging out, chilling out, having a great RC bash day. So that's it for me guys. I hope to see everybody out there tomorrow. Get all your vehicles ready. Charge up your batteries because it's going to happen. 2016 bash event. All right. Hope you guys are making it happen in your RC world. And for now, this is Chris the Everyday RC Guy saying thanks for watching. Make it happen.